Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. And welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to be answering most of the questions. It is going to be a question and answer. We asked on Instagram for people to ask questions about us and our family and questions which they want me to answer. And so that's what I'm going to do today. So if you don't follow us on Instagram, please do. Follow Emilata and Josh Waiswa on, on there. Hi everyone. So the first question is, what was your, what was my first impression when I met, when I first saw Emily? Emily. Ah. Someone asked, was it first sight when I first saw Emily? I would say no. yes, because no. when I saw Emily, I was like, wow, no. this is love of my life like she also saw the way I at her first day when I met her so someone asked another question is what job do I think I will get what job do I hope to get in the UK so but now I don't have a specific job because as you know I didn't go to school much so Emily says there are very different opportunities and different ideas of the jobs I can do but it needs when I'm there then I decide on what job I can do so I'll leave that one there as I'll be waiting just when I go to the UK then I decide what job can I get there someone asked how do I feel about moving to the UK yeah, I would say I feel good, but again, I don't know. I'm nervous because I don't know what exactly is in the UK. I don't know how life is going to be. I don't know. So I'm happy I'm going to see my fam other part of my family. But again, I'm also worried because I don't want to live here, my half of the family, because I'll leave my mom and dad here and some other relatives because I've been there for them. I've been trying to help my mom in dad in some ways so i have two different or different many different feelings of when i moved to the uk is when your thing yes my thing what thing that thing that thing. What that thing? thing for Georgie. Someone asked, what are you most excited? What am I most excited about when I I finally move to the UK? One is that I'll meet my girlfriend and Adam, who I miss most. And another thing is I think the life is not very, very hard, very hard in the UK. So I think I'll get a job and I'll start working and I can support my family and my kids. So we had a lot of questions about the adoption of these kids and how much money do we still need to complete the process. I will let you know that we haven't been updating you because we haven't made any big progress or we haven't moved much because of all the things which comes around everything like all the problems have been stopping like Danny sick everything like I've been going around so I've been not doing the process I've not processed anything much and about the money, we have a GoFundMe page. You can check it out. And thank you to everyone who has donated already and to everyone who is willing to donate, please. We really appreciate your support. So another question is, who looks after the children when I'm away with Dan? Yeah, so here we have, we had the nanny sometimes when I live going around with 
done to the hospitals uh, the nanny has to stay back and she looks after the kids oh. that what the other people mm. as it's late mm. oh. Jimmy who called Jimmy? Someone else asked if I spotted another child for adoption and what I will say is I have this Sienna here with me but I'm not saying we're adopting her, we haven't thought about it. She's also my niece and I'm with her and I live with her. I've been living with her since Emmy left so yeah. So another person asked what, are, what am I doing about the kids school? So for now, George has been going to our friend's house. She, teach, she teaches him and is learning so, so much and quickly. Do you go... Where do you go every day? At for Shivas. For what? To learn. What do you do at Shivas? To learn. To learn what? What have you been learning at Shivas? I've learned mm. ooze. That sounds. Sounds. What did that you learn? Ooh. <laughs> and what else? And shedding. Mm. And reading books. And reading books. Yes. So yeah, Daddy, for George he has been Daddy, going to our friends Daddy, and for me want another toys. You want another toys? Yes. Okay. And Let, Daddy mm. and 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 we will we learn free. You learn free. Mm. Mm. Run. Mm. Rayash. Mm. Me. Mm. Roha. Oh, three people, eh? Mm. Okay. So you can hear George has been going to our friend's house, Shiba. So she has been trying to help him catch up. And for Talia and James, we are still figuring out what they can be doing and where they can be studying for now so that's what we are doing we are trying to either get home school we are trying to get someone to be teaching them here at home or we get some a school for them to be going so as soon as we also know what we are doing with them we will let you know properly another question is how am I coping without Emily? Is life a lot more different in you now in Uganda without Emily and Adam? Yes, life is very, very different. You know, when Emily was here, she used to do other things as I'm doing another thing. So when I'm going around, maybe she can stay home and be with the kids or look after the kids and dogs. But now I have to figure out only myself what to do. Either when I'm leaving or when I'm doing anything and another thing yeah we all miss Emily all the kids miss Emily and Adam they always tell me they want to go to Adam and they want to go to mommy so all the time that's a very big thing that is very different do you miss mommy? yes eh? yes you miss mommy? James you miss mommy? Yes. And Adam, yes. who do you miss most? Mommy. Who do you miss most? Mommy, mm. da Mommy mm. Daddy, and Adam. You miss me? Yes. When I'm here? Yes. Who do you miss most? And George. Mommy. Hmm? And Mommy. You miss Mommy? I miss hmm? and Daddy. Hey, you miss me when I'm here? I miss Daddy, uh. Mommy, uh. Adam. But I'm here with you guys. And Nanny. And Nanny. There's also, also an and Uncle Adam. Adam. And, and Uncle Adam. Uncle Adam mm. and Aunt Alice mm. and Arthur. Mm. Aunt Alice and Arthur. <laughs> so you miss all those people? Yes. George mm? said like you see. Mm? His Aunt Alice. Mm. George said his Aunt Alice. You said you what? George said Aunt for the sister. Sister. Is on top of our so, so another person asked, eh, What do I love 
in Uganda and what do I hate about living in Uganda? Mm, I would not say I hate. I don't hate Uganda, but only that Uganda is all the time full of problems. No hospital, good hospitals, if the kids get sick or anything. Like, death is so quick here in Uganda, so I don't know. As I hear, let me say, it is not like this in the UK. And I think the kids will have a good future when we go to the UK because there may be our, there are good schools there and good health care, so which is not in Uganda. So, hope you enjoyed the video and hope I try to answer most of the questions which people have been asking. So thank you so much to everyone who has been watching this video and thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. Thank you for following us on Instagram, Facebook and here on YouTube. So I'll leave this video here and thanks to everyone. Bye! Bye! I want to do again exercise. What exercise? The one I did tomorrow. Like this, yes, like this. Like this. Like this. What are you doing? What's that? Exercise? Exercise. All right. Yes. Show me. George, you come like decide. This. George, you come decide. That's the only exercise you know, George. Do another exercise. Show me. This is like for daddy, for me, you see. For me, I want big car for, for daddy. For mine. I, and I tell daddy, you this, daddy, and I tell you right, want to be a Adam. train. Play with them. As you going to go, hmm? so that hmm? as you going to go with Adam. So daddy, Where? To Adam, his house. Where is Adam? Adam, his house is eating. He's in Nani. Hmm. Where is Adam's house? They are in Nani. Where is that? How is it called? How is that country called? Everyone, I want to talk, mommy. Hmm? Adam. How is that country what? called? Hmm? How is it called? Um. Ingi. Indy. England. England. You want to go to England? Yes. You came along, couldn't look away. Somehow you turned my life completely upside down.